my next stop, the Candy Coast of California. Throughout history, sour candies have been kind of a novelty, one that kids would dare each other to eat. The more pucker power, the better. But at this family-owned San Francisco candy company, sour candies have become sophisticated, offering a cocktail of exotic flavors. It's good. It tastes like pomegranate. It's sour, but it tastes like margarita. Cheers. Boom. It's very tropical. After five years of experimentation by Gimbel's Fine Candies, a luau of 12 flavors is coming together in one bag, the Sour Lovers Mix. It takes 33,000 pounds of sugar a day to make Sour Lovers, and Gimbel's makes 80 different items in all, like their signature heart-shaped Cherry Lovers and Honey Lovers fruit shoes, and Lava Balls, a cinnamon candy that brings more heat than an island volcano. They're good. I know it's getting hotter and hotter as I chew them. <laughs> Would you say it's like a ball of molten lava in your mouth? I can definitely taste the heat and the spice. You can see I'm sweating already. <laughs> like lava balls, the Sour Lovers mix is taking taste buds to the extreme in flavors that have never been paired with sour before. Imagine you're on the beach. What are you drinking? Strawberry daiquiri. When was the last time you had a sour mango candy? You know, I don't think I have. The big kahuna behind this new wave of sour candy is Lance Gimble. What do you do to bring a new generation's perspective to a fourth generation candy company? We talk to trendologists, mixologists, chefs. The chefs give us great ideas. The mixologists are making all these fancy drinks. So we're like, OK, well, maybe we could bring those ideas into candy recipes to make a new and more exciting candy. The Sour Lover's slurry base starts with corn syrup, liquid sugar, cornstarch, and real fruit juice. So some of the sweetness comes from actual fruit juice. Correct. All right, what else needs to go in there? We need to finish it up adding a little bit of dry sugar. The dry sugar helps in um, removing some of the moisture. Because eventually the candy's going to have to dry up and set up. All the pre-mixed slurry has to pass through this six inches of steam-injected high-pressure cooker, where it is heated to 140 degrees before the slurry is piped into this super-sized mixer. Now that the slurry is no longer under pressure, the steam is being released at a crazy rate. Now we got to add the remainder of our ingredients. We're going to add our sour mixture first. It's a combination of malic acid and vitamin C. Typically, you put the sour on afterwards, but we're putting the sour right into the candy. We do it in both stages. This is what it's going to give it the tartness in the center of the candy. So you got sour through and through. Now it's time to take a trip to the islands. We're adding the wonderful natural mango flavor. Sour just got tropical. Finally, we have to give the mango a little color. Next, we get to the heart of the mango. How does the slurry get from the kettle to here? Those kettles are upstairs. They come flow through this pipe down here to this hopper. So it goes right in there, gets screened out, and then deposited into these cool heart shapes. How many candies are in each tray? Well, the machine runs about 22 boards a minute. So we have 360 pieces on a board at 22 minutes, so approximately around 8,000 pieces a minute. I've never seen a sour mango before. You can't get more tropical than a mango. Before the candy meets its second shot of sour, I get to taste test the mango scent. That is so cool. It's like a semi-liquid, warm gel state. I can actually taste the sour already. This is the first sour candy that is going to be sour on the outside and sour on the inside. This is a brand new candy. You have cut the ribbon on this product. Once the tropical mango candies have set up for two days, they return to this mogul, which takes the trays of finished sours, flips them over, separating the candy from the starch. But they still don't have their full dose of sour. That's right. We already have the sour now on the inside. We're going to prepare this product to get the second dose of sour. The mango centers get a deluxe sauna treatment courtesy of the steam table. We want to get that candy hot and sticky. Just this little bit of steam bath and then into the final sour shower. Where sticky mangoes meet a tropical storm of flavor. What we have in there is this mixture of sugar and malic acid that's coating the candy, making the outside sour. Let me grab one here, and I want you to try that. Now this sour gets you right in the face. My mature foodie palate loves the mango flavor. It's a little bit more sophisticated than your typical chewy candy, but the kid in me loves the sour. The mangoes meet up with 11 other fruit and tropical flavors, like Georgia peach and strawberry daiquiri, to complete our mixed bag of sour lovers. You like margaritas? Probably my favorite cocktail. 
Sweet. Sour. Sweet. Sour. Just like a margarita without the tequila. Mango, pomegranate, margarita, daiquiri, grapefruit. The sours have definitely gotten sophisticated. As my adventure continues, I unlock the spicy secret inside a cinnamon candy with the heat of a fiery volcano. Now we're going to put the flame on the outside. That's the warning symbol. 